George II was born in Hanover, Germany, on November 9, 1683. His parents were George I, the Elector of Hanover, and Sophia Dorothea of Sel. George II's parents had a troubled marriage, and his mother was imprisoned for adultery when he was a child. His father became King of Great Britain and Ireland in 1714, following the death of Queen Anne, and George II became heir to the throne. George II ascended to the throne on June 11, 1727, following the death of his father. He was already 44 years old at the time, and he had served as regent during his father's frequent absences from England. George II was the second monarch from the House of Hanover to rule Britain, following his father. As Elector of Hanover, George II spent significant amounts of time in Germany, and he had a strong attachment to his homeland. He spoke German as his first language and had a deep interest in German culture and literature. The War of the Austrian Succession broke out in 1740, and Britain became involved in the conflict in 1742. The war was fought between Austria and Prussia, and it involved many other European powers. Britain's involvement in the war was primarily aimed at preventing French domination of Europe. George led his troops into battle at the Battle of Dettingen in 1743, and became the last British monarch to lead an army into battle. He was aged 60 at the time. In 1745, the Jacobite Rebellion took place in Scotland, led by Charles Edward Stuart, also known as Bonnie Prince Charlie. The rebellion aimed to restore the Stuart dynasty to the throne, and it had some initial successes. However, the rebellion was ultimately defeated at the Battle of Culloden in 1746, and ended the Jacobite Risings. It was to be the last pitched battle fought on British soil. The Seven Years' War broke out in 1756, and Britain fought against France, Austria, and Russia. The war was fought on multiple continents and involved many naval battles, including the Battle of Quiberon Bay in 1759, in which the British defeated the French Navy. The war involved multiple theatres from Europe to North America and India, and many battles were fought. George II was a patron of the arts and sciences, and he was particularly fond of music. He supported the composer George Frederick Handel, who composed many pieces for him. Handel's famous, water music, was performed for the king during a royal river procession in 1717. George II married Caroline of Ansbach in 1705, and they had nine children together. Caroline was a highly intelligent and politically savvy woman, and she was deeply involved in her husband's reign. She served as regent on several occasions, including during George II's trips to Hanover. The couple's eldest son, Frederick, Prince of Wales, predeceased George II, dying in 1751. The crown passed to Frederick's son, George III, who succeeded his grandfather on the throne. George II had a difficult relationship with his son and heir, Frederick. The two men had very different personalities and clashed frequently over political and personal matters. Frederick was seen as a potential rival to his father, and their relationship was strained by political maneuvering and personal animosity. Despite the tensions between George II and Frederick, the king maintained a close relationship with his mistress, Henrietta Howard. Howard was a lady-in-waiting to Caroline, and she began an affair with George II in the 1720s. The affair lasted for many years, and Howard became a close confidant of the king. George II was known for his hot temper and impulsive nature. He was often quick to anger and was prone to outbursts of emotion. This made him a difficult monarch to work with, and he had a reputation for being stubborn and difficult to persuade. George II was a keen horseman and enjoyed hunting and other outdoor pursuits. He was also a skilled soldier and had a deep interest in military matters. He was known for his bravery on the battlefield, and he was highly respected by his troops. George II died on October 25, 1760, at Kensington Palace in London. He was 76 years old at the time of his death, blind in one eye and hard of hearing. He was succeeded by his grandson, George III, who was just 22 years old at the time. George III went on to reign for 60 years, making him one of the longest reigning monarchs in British history. George II's reign saw significant developments in science, philosophy, and literature. The period was marked by the growth of the Enlightenment movement, which emphasized reason and scientific inquiry. Some of the most famous thinkers of the period included John Locke, David Hume, and Adam Smith, who all contributed to the development of modern Western thought. The period also saw the emergence of great literary figures such as Samuel Johnson, Jonathan Swift, and Alexander Pope, whose works continue to be celebrated today.